Hi, this is Christian Cantrell, and I just wanted to do a quick demo of what looks to me like a security vulnerability in mobile Safari, and specifically a phishing vulnerability. So what we're looking at here is the Google login page, and of course it's prompting us for a password here. And if, when I look up at the location bar, I can see that I'm on Google.com, and I can see this little lock icon at the top. What that lock icon tells me is two things. The first thing it tells me is that all the data that I send over this connection will be encrypted. And the second thing that it tells me is that the server is who it claims to be. So it is, in fact, Google.com. The client was able to find a, uh, a certificate, a valid certificate, and that certificate was issued by a trusted certificate authority and all that good stuff. Uh, the upshot is that I can submit my credentials with confidence and I can feel like they're going to the right place. So with all that in mind, I'm going to switch over to my email client and take a look at a phishing email. Now, this uh, is not a very good phishing email. This is just something that I sent to myself. Um, but we've all seen very good uh, forgeries, so let's assume that this is a higher quality phishing email. Um, and it's saying that someone has sent you some money and you need to log into your PayPal account to accept it. So of course what I should do at this point is I should actually switch over to my browser and I should type paypal.com in myself and that way I know exactly where I am. But this being a mobile device and the world being what it is, um, a lot of people are just going to tap on this link instead. So what we see here is a PayPal login page. We have the logo and we have the form as, uh, asking us for our credentials. And we have our location bar at the top here. It says we're at paypal.com and we see that lock icon which is telling us that everything should be nice and secure and we should be able to submit our credentials with confidence. If you're paying attention though, when the page loaded, you'll see that actually we're not at paypal.com. We're actually at a different server. In this case, this is just my server and this is just a demo page but you get the idea. Let me show you that transition again. So you tap on the link and here we are. And here's the actual location. So this is actually just an image at the top of the page. It's a screenshot that I took when I was actually at paypal.com and I just use a little bit of JavaScript to scroll it off the page. So let me just show that to you one more time and you can see how quick and subtle that is. Now keep in mind this is a mobile device so people aren't going to be paying super close attention. I mean, they're not gonna be sitting down and staring at it as though it were a desktop. Right, they're probably going to be distracted, they're going to be you know, talking to somebody, or they're going to be at the store, or they're going to be eating or something like that. So there's a very good chance that they're going to miss that transition. And even if they don't miss that transition, it's very quick and subtle. And so even if somebody were to see it, um, most people probably wouldn't think much of it. And so this looks to me like it could be a, a pretty convincing forgery. I think this could be a, a, a pretty effective phishing attack. Um, I'm not a security expert or a researcher or anything like that, but um, but I am curious to know what people think, and uh, and I think this is something that uh, we should be aware of. So thanks for watching.